So this question starts off by providing us with a system of equations. The question goes on to say which ordered pair x, y is the solution to the given system of equations. So whenever I see the term system of equations, I always think about two methods, either elimination, which is typically what I use, or substitution, which I only use if there is an isolated variable. We can see that there is an isolated variable, right? We have a y isolated in the first equation. We also have y isolated in the second equation. So I'm going to use substitution. And substitution is just basically saying I can replace this y with what y equals um, from the first equation. So this, so that I can create a new equation, which would say x minus 2 times x plus 4 is equal to 6x minus 12. And of course, I can simplify this. Um, I can FOIL here and get an x squared plus 2x minus 8 is what would happen there once you finish FOILing. And I'd have equal 6x minus 12 and can combine like terms, of course. But I actually don't want to go through this process. I want to show you a different method that could, you might like, right? It might get you to the answer a bit faster. So this process is just plug-in answers. That's the strategy. You can use the strategy plug-in answers anytime what your answers are can be plugged into the actual question that you've been provided. So how do we use that? So I can use that, for instance, by, let's say, for choice A. Choice A says when x is 0, y should equal 2. Well, let's see. Is that true? If I put a 0 here and a 0 there, I'd have negative 2 times positive 4, which is negative 8. I'd get a y equals negative 8 not a y equals 2. So choice A is gone. All right? And as soon as it doesn't fit in one of the equations, there's no need to try the other one. But if you tried, you'd also see that in the second equation, if I plug in 0 equals x, I would also not get positive 2. So that's gone. How about choice B? So B says when x is negative 4, y should be 2. So if I put a negative 4 here, I'd get a negative 6 overall. If I put a negative 4 here, I get a 0. Now, that means that this whole thing becomes 0. So again, b is gone for that reason, because when x is negative 4, y should actually be 0 according to the first equation. So that's gone as well. So hopefully you're seeing the value of how to quickly get to the answers using plug-in answer strategy. Uh, let's try choice c. When x is 2, when x is 2, this whole thing becomes 0, which means I don't care what that is, and y is 0, so that fits. But let's see if the same thing happens for the second equation. When x is 2, this becomes 12, and yeah, 12 minus 12 equals 0. So it fit, it worked for both equations, which means choice C has to be the correct answer. So here's a traditional way. You can FOIL and simplify and subtract 6x from both sides and add 12 to both sides, right, and have an x squared minus 4x minus, I'm sorry, it's plus 12, so plus 4 equals 0. And you'd get, what, x minus 2 times x minus 2 equals 0, and therefore x is equal to 2, right? So there's our traditional way. Nothing wrong with it. Actually didn't take that long at all. Um, so you would get that as well. you get x equals 2. And you'd have to then plug that into one of the equations, which, in my opinion, the second equation would be the easiest one to plug into. And you'd find that by plugging that x value in that you just found, that yes, y equals 0, and from that, that would point you also directly to choice C as being the right answer. But I wanted to you know, bring up PIA here because it's a great strategy to have in your tool belt.